What's up, guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you may be watching this. <laughs> I'd like to talk about procrastination. And this is the topic that I had previously, but um, God dropped it on me to go ahead and talk about healing scriptures. So now we're talking about procrastination <laughs> and how not to do it. All right, scripture that I actually have for procrastination. I know you can hear the birds and dogs and nature. I got the window open. It's a little, get some fresh air in here. All right, so this scripture is Proverbs 6, and this is 6 through 11. All right, so it says, it reads as, Take a lesson from the ants, you lazy bones. Learn from their ways and become wise. Though they have no prince or governor or ruler to make them work, they labor hard all summer, gathering fruit for the winter. But you, lazy bones, how long will you sleep? When will you wake up? A little extra sleep, a little more slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Then poverty will pounce on you like a bandit. Scarcity will attack you like an armed robber. If God has given you something, God has placed something on your heart to do. And it's not all about the money, but if God wants to get you out, wants to help you get out of a situation and he's giving you the blueprint. He's giving you the formula. Listen, I'm talking to myself with this one, <laughs> but I'm also talking to you as well. If God has given you something to do, he's giving you a gift and he wants you to share it with the people because that is where your blessing comes from. Helping save the people is where your blessings come from. And God wants to bless you with the things that he has blessed you with. He wants you to use your blessings to help uplift you and others. When If you have something that you need to do and you need to do it, take that first step. Take that first step in going for whatever it is God has placed on your heart and just go for it. Because there's going to be so many things that just melt away and just break off of you because you're actually operating in your gift. And what I mean by that is if you have fear, anxiety, worry about being in front of a camera, looking into a lens, you're used to looking into somebody's eyes. Look, <laughs> it's it's not as difficult as it looks. And if this is something that you want to do, go for it. But if you have something completely different, completely opposite of what I'm doing right now or anything that doesn't involve being in front of a camera, look, go for it. Just go for it. Don't wait any longer because we don't have as long as we may think we do. We like to think that procrastination is an illusion because we like to think that we have so much time to get something done when we actually don't. It's vital. It is pertinent to get it done now, right now. If you have the time, if you have the ability, if you have, well, you know what? Make the time. Not even if. Make the time. Because if you sit here and say, well, if I had this, if I had that, if I, if this, if it was worked out like this, if I had that, if I had this camera, if I had this lens, blah, 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 blah. No. Just do it. Like Nike. Just do it. <laughs> and yes, this is for me as well. Because I had to encourage myself to not procrastinate. Because I should have been doing this a long time ago. But better now than never i don't want to say late but better now than never hey hope this helps love you guys take care peace